Wow, my first Indian head. Ah, here we are. We hit the jackpot. Uh oh. Got a weedy. Here it is. See it? Hey folks, it's History Digger here. Got Tyler with me. Tip the kind of treasure hunter was supposed to be with us, but he got to work tonight so he couldn't make it. That's too bad. We're about a mile or half mile outside the boundaries of Fort Pillow here in Tennessee. All around the whole fort there's a lot of activity. So we got permission to go to a couple places. Uh, we're gonna hit about two or three different spots today. Hopefully we can find some stuff that relates back to what we're looking for. You know, history digger, that's my name. So we're looking for history, we're looking for stuff from the Civil War. Uh, got a couple of places, a couple of old houses, old school, a store. So we're gonna hit it hard. I got water in the windy. Um, so we'll let you know when we get back with something good. All right, history digger, we'll see you in a minute. All right, folks, we've been digging a while. We dug around the old building, found a whole lot of trash. We have to come clean it all out so we can get to the good targets. We move up here to where there's a possible old school. Uh, dug a couple of singles, found something that looked like some camp lead. Got a good tone coming out of the ground. I can see it right there. I just popped open the plug. We'll move it out of here. There might be another big piece of lead, but I was thinking it was maybe a bullet. That was shaped the same way though, isn't it? it looks like more camp lead. Uh, like I said, this there's so much Civil War activity out here in this area, and there's a lot of it. Uh, well, I'll get it cleaned up, and we'll look at it in the wrap-up, and we can maybe we can determine what it is. All right, we'll see you next time. All right, folks, we moved on. We moved on to a place to where uh, there's a house, and there used to be an old house there, and it burned, and they built another house on it. And in the side of the yard, someone was going through, and a bayonet was sticking out of the ground, Civil War bayonet. So we're on this hillside out here. Again, we're right on the boundary from Fort Pillow. I dug around, I already cleaned this up. Uh, my first uh, shotgun hole that I've ever found. Uh, it's a Remington UMC. It says 12 gauge, says new club. Or new, yeah, I think that's what it says. Camera probably won't pick it up good. This one doesn't zoom, but but I'll show you in the wrap up. I mean, there's, you know, there's no, nothing to the back of it. All the paper's gone. But uh, it's brass and that's nice. I, first one I ever found, so. I'm going to keep going, and it gave a good 53 signal, which is right around pull tab nickel side on the AT Pro. So we're going to keep hitting the side of this hill and see. We just got here. Uh, we can hit a couple hours at the other place. Didn't really find a whole lot of stuff. But uh, we're going to hit this place, and we're going to try to find some remnants of the Civil War. Had to be soldiers all through these woods. So we're starting out. we still got about a bunch of hours left of daylight. So... We're gonna find something. We're gonna find something. I promise. All right. This is the view of where we're at. From where we're at. Can't show you where we're at, but I can show you the view. Goes on forever. Looking straight out across the bottoms. Straight out. That way is the Mississippi River. The Hatchie River comes right up along this side right here. And the Mississippi right there. I found uh, in video, I mean, it was in some rough parts of woods, but I did find some shotgun holes from uh, one of them's 1800s, late 1800s. Uh, the old Remington UMCs, I'd never found one of those before. And then I found a Winchester Ranger, which is a little newer, but uh, it hadn't been fired, it was dropped out there. But I found three of them, that's pretty darn cool. We haven't found any bullets, we haven't found any. It's hard to get around in some of these areas where we're, where we're at. I know I got the sun in your eyes, sorry. But, uh, you know, it seems pretty fired up about letting us come out here, so we're gonna keep hunting this place. We're, it's still early, we've still got some daylight. Um, but, you know, it's, it's pretty cool out here. We've got a good breeze, it's not too hot, anything like that, but, uh, there's Tyler over there, he thinks he's digging something. I don't know.
grab a dig in an old ragged shotgun shell with the plastic on it. We both just take one of those. <laughs> All right, folks. History digger. There again with the, the amazing view. Got to aim the camera right to it. I can see. Oh, it's pretty. Way up on a bluff. Over here in West Tennessee near Fort Pillow. I'm going to let you know we find something else. What? Hit us up with a like and subscribe. Oh! Okay, that's my geeky son. He's all right. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll have some more on here. I'm not done yet because I got to do a wrap up. So whatever. Check out the nice view. Okay, that's enough. I know I'm boring you. There, and I can see my own face. I tell you, folks. I'm wore out. We've been out here about six hours or so. Hoping for some Civil War juice. Get me out here asking, why me, Lord? Lord blesses us. Got me out here getting good exercise. That's what I need. Did really, you know, I already mentioned the shotgun shells. So, we ain't found nothing else. It's kind of overgrown, hard to walk through. Kind of hard to dig, a lot of roots. But the Lord will bless you. You just got to trust in them. So we're out here trusting in them. I don't know if he helps metal detectors or not, but if he wants me to find something, I will. All right, folks, we're going to get on down the road. I don't know if we're going to do much after this, so if this, I don't see you again, I'll see you in the wrap-up. All right. All right. Hit your digger here, folks. Here's a wrap-up from... Been out there by Fort Pillow. Nothing real exciting. A couple of cool things. Some things that Tyler didn't realize that he found. He didn't know what this was. Of course, most of us know that's a harmonica reed. He did find one shell himself. I don't know if that comes through there really good. It's the Winchester. One of those Winchester ones. It's not an older one. He had to find a pocket knife. I think that's an old case knife, but I think that's maybe plastic. I don't think it's anything super old. Large round. This was kind of unique. He actually found a bullet stuck in a piece of wood. That's pretty cool. It's big. Looks like a stove part. He said that gave one heck of a signal. I said, I bet it did. And here's what I found over here. Various bits and pieces of junk and lead. Never had to find one of those hole, but there's the top that went to it. And this little pencil eraser in the woods. I don't know what the heck that is out there, but it's out there where I found these shells here. I don't know if that's focusing or not. I can't honestly see. I did find some that were older. Yeah, they got the star around the middle of them. They're not as old. Um, I found a couple of little Winchester Rangers myself. Sorry about the lighting. It's been over a, a week. I'm doing this wrap up a week later. I had a little bit of trouble. If you look out there, all that mud, the creek that's right off over here, overflowed the banks and flooded my yard with about four feet of water. But my house is high enough off the ground, so I'll be all right. I haven't been out digging. I won't be able to go back out till this next weekend. Some old insulator just picked up on the, I guess the wire on the end of it. I don't know much about insulators, but maybe somebody can tell me about that one. But all right, folks, it's a little like a pellet. All right, that's, that's about all we got. Uh, there's all our yummy, yummy trash. Whole bucket full of it. Dug a lot of signals. Tried to find some Civil War. I think where we were at, the terrain was too rough. I doubt that the troops came through there. We got to get over in some of the lower lands, some of the flatter lands. See you on some of those fields. Hit some of those fields, and then we should be able to find some more. We got some more leads on some other property that's out there. So we're going to try to get at it and, and hit them. I'm still getting used to this AT Pro. 
I really like it though. I think some of this stuff I would have never found if I didn't have the AT Pro. So, folks, y'all keep, keep watching. Take it easy. Good luck. Happy hunting. History Digger out.